Snowbell crochet. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely colorwork sweater for kids. I'll be using Red Hearts Baby Steps Yarn in three different colors. But of course you can choose any color combinations of your choice or simply use one color. It has a top-down design starting from the collar. I will be crocheting in the round for both the main body and the two sleeves with the bottom ribbing and the cuff ribbing crocheted directly onto each section. You will need number 4 medium weight yarn, a 5.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and five stitch markers. We're going to start off by creating a slip knot and then chain seven. For row one, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook yarn over and pull through both loops and then slip stitch across you should have six slip stitches in total for each row remember to keep your tension nice and loose so that the stitches are not too tight and it'll be easier for you to insert your hook on the next row Once you've completed row 1, chain 1 and turn your work to start row 2. Row 2 is our repeat row and we're going to do back loop slip stitch across. The one that's facing your body is the front loop and the one that's furthest away from you is the back loop. And we're just going to insert our hook into the back loop only for each row. Once you've completed the second row, Repeat row 2 for a total of 72 rows. Slip stitch into the base of the first row to join. Chain 1 and single crochet around the edge of the collar ribbing. Remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into the first single crochet. When changing colors, place color A on the hook and pull through color B to complete the slip stitch, chain one and turn. Now we are going to begin our increase single crochet into the first single crochet, place a stitch marker in the first single crochet and then double crochet into the next stitch to make a double crochet, yarn over insert your hook, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two. 
Repeat this pattern of one single crochet and one double crochet until we have 11 stitches. I've done 11 stitches in pattern and my last stitch is a single crochet. Now I'm going to make the first increase by placing one double crochet, one chain and one single crochet all into the next stitch. And place a stitch marker in that chain one. We're going to do this increase a further three times, so four times in total for this round. Remember to keep the pattern going. The last stitch is a single crochet, so it should be followed by a double crochet, then a single crochet, and then one double, one single for a total of 12 stitches. Once you've made 12 stitches, place one double crochet, one chain and one single crochet all into the next stitch and place a stitch marker in that chain one. This will be our second increase. Continue our pattern for the next 22 stitches and then make the third increase. Then 12 stitches and make the final increase. You will have 11 stitches left at the end. Simply work those stitches in pattern to complete this round. We are going to increase by 8 stitches for each of the following increased rounds. And I suggest counting your stitches at the end of each round. After round 1, you should have 76 stitches in total plus 4 chains. Slip stitch into the first single crochet. Place color B on the hook and pull through color C to start the next round. Chain 2 and turn your work. Remember to keep all your working yarn strands on the wrong side of the fabric, which is the inside of the sweater. Starting from round 2, we're going to begin our crumpled griddle stitch pattern double crochet into the first double crochet and then single crochet into the next single crochet. Throughout this pattern we're always placing a double crochet into a double crochet and a single crochet into a single crochet. Repeat this pattern until you reach the stitch marker. Then remove the stitch marker and place one double, one chain, one single into that chain and place the stitch marker in the new chain. Continue this pattern around and increase when you reach the stitch markers at the four corners. At the end of this round, you should have 84 stitches in total plus four chains.
slip stitch into the first single crochet and change the color A. Throughout this pattern, if your next round starts with a single crochet, chain one, and if it's a double crochet, chain two, and then turn your work. After this round, continue the crumpled bridal stitch pattern until the end of round 15. Round 16 is our joining round. Once you've made 26 stitches in pattern, remove the stitch marker and place a double crochet in that chain one. Then we're gonna skip the next 42 stitches in between those two stitch markers and remove the next stitch marker and place a single crochet in that chain. Now we've created the first armhole for our sweater and we're going to do another 52 stitches in pattern and do the same thing to create the second armhole. Once you've made the second armhole, simply work the remaining 26 stitches in pattern and then slip stitch into the first stitch, chain 1 and turn. The rest of the main body is quite simple and straightforward. We are simply going to work in pattern for each round and you should have the same amount of stitches at the end of each round. So for body round 1, we are going to start with a chain 1 and for round 2, we are going to start with a chain 2 and then repeat those two rounds for a total of 31 rounds or the length you desire. Once you've reached your desired length for the sweater, we're going to crochet the ribbing directly onto the bottom. Do not fasten off. With the right side facing you, chain 7, then slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, and slip stitch in each chain across. You will have
have six stitches in total for each row. Slip stitch into the next two stitches at the base of the bottom. Turn your work to start row 2. Skip the two slipped stitches and insert your hook into the back loop of the next slip stitch and back loop slip stitch across. Turn your work to start row 3, chain 1 and back loop slip stitch across, then slip stitch 2 times into the next 2 stitches. After this row, repeat rows 2 and 3 around the bottom edge. Once finished, thread your tapestry needle and sew the ends together on the inside of the fabric and then fasten off. Next, we're going to add sleeves to the sweater. With the right side facing, attach our yarn to the bottom of the armhole. For the first round, chain 2, double crochet into the first double crochet, and single crochet into the next single crochet, and then work in our established pattern around. The sleeves are constructed in the same way as the body. Just follow the written instructions and we're going to be working in a round for a total of 35 rounds and you should have 42 stitches in total at the end of each round. Once you've finished the last round, we're going to crochet the cuff ribbon directly onto the sleeve. Pull through colour A and we're going to work in the same way as the bottom ribbon. And once finished, whip stitch the last row to the first row on the inside of the fabric. And then fasten off, weaving all of your ends. <laughs> 